Hi guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I have a fun, colorful, reverse stamped Christmas light look. Like I said in my previous video, this is my favorite time of year to do anything holiday related as far as nail art. I mean, I love all holidays, but this is probably my favorite time of the year. So you guys are definitely going to get a lot of winter Christmas holiday themed looks. I might be throwing in something for Thanksgiving. If you guys are interested, let me know. I want to take this moment to send a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Your support means the world to me and all your positive comments. You guys just make my day all the time. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more fun nail art. I'm starting out by prepping my nails with this beautiful polish called Hakia from Polished for Days. Now I will just say I don't really wear base coat because at this time I'm filming back to back so I'll be taking this off and filming my next tutorial but if you want your manicure to last a lot longer I definitely suggest wearing a base coat and I'll make sure to link some of my favorites down below. So now I'm just going in with my second and final coat to reach full opacity. Next up, I'll be going in with one glossy coat of a top coat from Glisten and Glow. This is hands down one of my favorite top coats. It's incredibly quick drying and leaves your nails with a beautiful glossy finish. Moving along to the nail art, I'll be taking this light bulb image from What's Up Nails Stamping Plate B022 called Winter Time. I love this plate, it's filled with so many fun images. For my stamping polish, I'll be using As Black As Night from Hit The Bottle, paired with my Big Bling XL Stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper. After I picked up that image on the stamper itself, I'll be filling in all the light bulbs with various colors from the Sally Hansen Crayola collection, which side note, that collection is absolutely fantastic. I love, love that line so, so much. So I'm using a really fine detail brush to color in the blank space. If you don't own a detail brush, don't worry because you can use a toothpick, a dotting tool, or whatever you have on hand that will fit inside those tiny little lines. And I'm just kind of coloring away. Kind of brings me back to when I was a kid because I used to love, love coloring. And I really like this technique because it just amps up your regular stamp manicure to the next level. I'll be prepping my skin with a latex barrier. This is actually one of my leftover bottles from my formerly opened shop that I used to have. I used to have a product called Easy Peel, which obviously I'm no longer in business, but it came in an array of 12 different colors catering to all your colorful needs. So this is my backup bottle of that of what I had on hand. And as usual, I applied two coats. Before transferring that image over top of my nail, I'll be prepping my nail with the one thin coat of a sticky base coat from Glistening Glow. Just a very thin coat, like I said, you don't really need much. The whole point of this is to give the nail some tack. Because if you're familiar with stamping, if you wait too long to transfer an image over top of your nail, it will have dried down and won't adhere to the nail. So with this little trick, it definitely allows that image to stick to the nail, which is the point. So here I'm going to be going in with an orange wood stick and just breaking up that polish that sort of uh, not flooded, but just sort of overlapping into my cuticle. So when I peel off the latex, it's not going to pull off what's already on the nail, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And lastly, I'll be sealing in my nails with one glossy coat of Glisten Glow's Fast Drying Top Coat and allowing that to completely dry. And of course, don't forget to cap your free edges. So here we have the final and completed look. I really love these mostly and maybe I'm biased because I really love Christmas and we always have Christmas lights all over the place on the outside of our house and inside, well inside over top of our Christmas tree and I also have like little lights in my nail polish area. It just, you know, I like to decorate my little space. It makes me feel 
fun and festive. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about reverse stamping. I think it's a really fun technique. It just kind of brings your manicure up to the next level. This is definitely something like you need patience for. It's going to take a while. There's different techniques in reverse stamping. Some people like to actually make decals over top of a nail art mat, but this is just the way I like to do it. It's the way that is most successful to me if that makes any sense i failed doing it other ways but i mean you got to find what works for you and this technique works best for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know your thoughts down below i hope to see you back in my next video and until then remember creativity is at your fingertips i'll see you guys next time bye